So 9th of October, I believe there's a brand new update which is going to be pushed to my device. As soon as I go into the settings, my Fire TV, my device is now downloaded a latest update, which I believe is going to break a number of things on my device. So I'm doing this on my second generation 4K Fire Stick Max. Let's install the latest update. Then I'll show you exactly what's changed on this device. I mean, we knew this update was coming because uh, recently there was an exploit that was discovered by the guys on XDA. And because of the exploit, you could now custom launchers. More importantly, you could actually block updates coming to your device as well as do some other system level tweaks. Now, this is on a device that doesn't have those updates blocked, but I will go over to my second generation Fire TV Cube, which I did actually use the exploit to block those things. So I will jump over to that device in just a second to confirm that that device hasn't received this new update. Okay, my device is updated. Let's confirm the exact version. Okay, so we can see there's actually another update straight after that one. Let's give that a second. I mean, Amazon is notoriously known for pushing out lots of updates. They're constantly changing things in the background. I mean, to be fair, sometimes they are just updating applications like Prime Video or like Amazon Music, but in most cases, they are just switching things, changing things in the background, blocking things, turning things off, adding in more sponsored content, more adverts. That's a lot more common for Amazon to be doing on these devices. And as somebody rightly said recently, it really does feel like we're renting these devices from Amazon and they really can go ahead and do whatever they want on these devices. Okay, my device is now rebooting. Let's see what Amazon have changed on my device. And just while waiting, guys, if you are interested in more Fire Stick tips and tricks, more Android TV best streaming applications, really just have to get the most from your streaming device, then please do double check and make sure you are subscribed with all notifications because YouTube is telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you haven't actually subscribed. So please do double check and make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Thank you. So my device is now updated and I don't see any new updates. And we can see the latest version available for my device is 8149. Now I believe that the version actually breaks the exploit is 8153. So typically with Amazon, they do roll out these updates in a phased approach. So right now my device doesn't have that particular update. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and run the exploit and quickly block updates, quickly enable custom launchers, even delete the blacklist of third party applications and really just take control of my device. So let's back out of this. Now there was one other option that Amazon said they were going to add inside the audio. And we can see this option here, Dialog Boost, which has actually been updated as of October, 2025 to utilize machine learning, which runs on the device itself to offer extra clarity for audio or for voices. So if I click on that now, we can now see these extra options like high level, enhanced, heightened, the previous version only really worked with Prime Video and they utilized the Amazon AWS servers and they had pre-mixed the audio from the different Prime Videos. So you could select in advance something that was already mixed, which had the increased dialogue volume. But with the latest version, they're now processing this in real time on the actual device itself. So we can see now with these two extra options, which will give even more clarity to the voice dialogue, especially when there's like louder music or if there's explosions or other sound effects. With these options selected that audio should be even clearer and the great thing is it works across all applications not just with prime video so so if you have somebody that's used this feature please do leave me a comment below and let me know how it works for you i mean that's really the only thing i can see with this latest update on the second generation fire stick max but let me jump over to my fire tv queue now before we continue let me just quickly share this qr code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast vpn stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy. You definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. And we can see on this device, custom launches are still working absolutely fine. No sponsored content, everything's looking good. I long press the home button and go over to the settings, go to MyFi TV, let's check for updates. And we see updates are still being blocked on my device. So that exploit is working absolutely fine and it's properly blocking those updates. And of course, giving me the flexibility of using custom launchers, of modifying the blacklist, and again, just taking control of my device. So if you're still on Fire OS 7 or Fire OS 8 and you haven't got the latest update and you're interested in blocking updates, then it definitely is worthwhile you running that one line of ADB command which will then allow you to run these things on your device before Amazon patch it. I did cover that in a previous video and I will link that in the pinned comment so you can also follow those instructions. So updates are being blocked here. 
and we can see on this device the last update i did receive was 7.70.4 and i believe that the exploit is patched in 7.70.6 so as long as you're on a version below that number you can still go ahead and follow the instructions and quickly block those updates coming onto your device how back out of this now unfortunately that brand new feature with the extra dialogue enhancement hasn't been rolled out to the amazon fire tv cubes just yet and it seems to be available on the second generation 4k fire stick and the second generation fire stick max so and we can see that on my device on this third generation fire tv cube i don't have those extra options in here so that's one of the things that when you do block updates it you will miss out on new features when amazon do add them but for lots of people that just use these devices to run their third-party applications or for certain applications they really don't care about these extra features they just want the ability to run their own applications without any kind of interfering or blocking from amazon so and the last thing to mention that if you are looking for the best way to stay safe online really just how to protect your privacy to make sure nobody can track you nobody can monitor you especially in the current climate of devices being hacked data being stolen other things being compromised everybody should be using a VPN because when you use a VPN, you are now no longer using your own IP address, rather you're using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this different IP address, you can then go ahead and unlock different content from around the world. You can unlock the entire Netflix library and really just keep yourself safe online. I've been using this for more than I think five years now. I have tried other VPNs during that time. I think I tried Nord for a bit. I tried Surfshark for a bit. I tried Express for a bit, but ultimately I always come back to IPVanish because it just gives me that consistent performance. It allows me to access all of the applications I want to access and works great on all of my devices because they give you those unlimited connections. So one account, you can install it on 10 Fire Sticks, five laptops, 300 TVs, really as many devices as you like. So that kind of flexibility and that amazing price point, which you can see here for just over $2 a month, it really is a fantastic offer. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. You can also take advantage of this free eSIM. So wherever you are in the world, you can now take advantage of this special offer. So lots of great freebies, great price, great performance, works on all of your devices. And again, at this price point, it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.